Why do we insist on overcomplicating our lives like this? Do we really believe that all this nonsense is somehow going to make us happy? Is it gonna fill the void? Are we going to find life-sustaining meaning in the touchscreen-laden gadgets? See, that's the thing. Technology has been doing this cute little thing where it like, advances or whatever, which of course means different things to different people. To some people, that might mean it's getting smarter and faster and more efficient. But as far as I can tell, technology advancing, all that means is everything's getting touchscreens. See, it started with the phones, okay? No problem. Then the computers, fine. Whatever. But then the cars, that was pushing it. But then we hit refrigerators. And that's when I realized we were on a slippery slope descending into touchscreen hell. Which, of course, I will illustrate for you via this neat little graphic properly titled Our Slippery Slope Descent into Touchscreen Hell. Which, as you can see, has taken us all the way down to toasters. So at some point, some smart guy realized you could take an otherwise completely functional and simple appliance, slap on one of them screeny boys, also tack on another zero to the price tag, and all the gadget obsessed consumers will just eat it up. I don't understand. You take an appliance, right? Like a refrigerator. It has one task. Keep the food cold, that's it. Maybe, maybe water on the door with the crushed ice. Maybe. But now it's got to have some giant tablet on it so the fridge can be some sort of family hub where you also have the calendar and the grocery list. They say all this like magnets are a thing. Like if you want the grocery list on the fridge, then you take the grocery list and then you take one of those trinket shop magnets you bought on a family road trip six years ago and then you just slap it on. I don't see a problem because there isn't a problem, at least not the problem they think there is. See, we're always reaching out with technology to try to grasp onto problems that aren't there because the problem isn't the problem. The problem is that you have a problem and your problem is you are incapable of doing anything for yourself and you'd rather overcomplicate your life to an insane degree rather than just get off the couch. See, these people are so willing to throw away all agency and control in their lives for no real important reason other than they're just lazy and instead of moving the curtain or flipping the switch with their hand, they would rather pay hundreds of dollars so they can do it on their phone and they don't have to leave the couch. See, why do you need a toaster with a touch screen and all of its high tech toasting options? Because very simply, you must not have the mental fortitude and strength required to master the number dial. What do the numbers mean? Minutes, levels of toast, Literally no one knows. It doesn't matter. Trial and error, you figure it out. And that driving spirit to do exactly what it takes to figure out exactly how long you need to toast your Pop-Tart so it's crispy on the edges and still soft and warm in the center with just a twisty dude and some digits is the same spirit that built nations. That, of course, is the spirit that we are now trading away with $300 for a touchscreen. I haven't seen a single piece of smart technology that does something for you that you cannot do for yourself. Like as it exists right now, smart technology is not cleaning your entire house. It's just kind of going around breaking stuff. Your smart kitchen isn't going to cook a full meal for you. All it's going to do is fill up your water bottle. Alexa, ask Moen to fill up my water bottle. Dispensing 50.7 ounces now. The perfect amount. Oh wow, D definitely couldn't have done that for yourself. That was totally worth $600, wasn't it? Like what value is this technology actually providing besides just being cool gadgets that you get to show off on the internet? Like, oh, all of your appliances are now interconnected by Wi-Fi. All of your appliances are talking to each other. All of your appliances are communicating with each other. You never considered they might be conspiring? Is that a skit's take? Yes. Point being, people are connecting their entire home to the internet. There's going to be some problems that arise from that, right? Because if your power goes out or your internet goes out, now all of a sudden half your house is either non-functional or completely limited in a way it wouldn't be if it wasn't smart technology. And of course, when you're connecting everything to your network, what happens if your network gets hacked? Which of course happens. On the less extreme end, that might mean your power company is accessing your smart thermostat and turning the temperature up in the middle of the night. On the extreme end, that might mean some stranger is watching you and your kids from a security camera. So it's one o'clock in the morning and not everyone is doing so great. But I was sitting in here and we have that night light that projects stuff onto the ceiling and we have that baby monitor. And as I was going to leave the room, somebody came through one of those devices and said hello to the kids. I'm not suggesting that just because a certain appliance or camera is connected to the internet, that means it's going to get hacked. I'm just pointing out there's inevitably going to be problems created by technology. Technology you don't need that you're also paying top dollar for. 
You put a touchscreen on a toaster or a fridge, whatever. What happens when the touchscreen bugs out? Are you going to call in a repairman for a toaster, right? What happens in the off chance a regular toaster stops working after five years of perfect functionality? You buy a new one for $39.99 at BestBuy.com. <laughs> and you call it a day because it's a toaster. As the old saying goes, the fancier the plumbing, the easier it is to clog the drain. And all this, this plumbing, is so redundant in its functionality. Do I really need a $5,600 smart mirror to stream music and video? No, I have a smartphone. There's no reason for me not to just buy a $200 mirror from Home Depot. Because as the other old saying goes, if it ain't broke, then don't put a touch screen on it. Now, if I may spam, one last more old saying. There's another saying that's often used when dealing with old people who are starting to have difficulty with simple day-to-day -day tasks, which is, you don't do anything for them that they can do for themselves. Because, once someone or something starts doing something for you, you will eventually lose the ability to do it for yourself. A great example of this is navigation. We all have GPS on our phones and in our cars. Now no one knows how to read maps. See, we didn't need the technology before we had it. We were all successfully navigating somehow, but now we have GPS, so now we need it. See, I think it would be very arrogant of us to assume we're never going to reach a diminishing return point with technology. I think in most cases, we already have. Most of this technology, it's not making our lives any better, it's just making them easier, which is not the same thing. And honestly, I don't think our lives need to be any easier. Like seriously, your ancestors, a couple thousand years ago, were huddled around a fire in the middle of the winter so that you could sit on the couch in your underwear in a perfectly temperature controlled house enjoying all the creature comforts imaginable. Now the way I see it, the very least you could do to show one crumb of respect for those who came before you, get up off the couch, walk to the wall, and flick the light switch yourself like a human being with agency. We are basically paying to become less functional adults. And it's important to remember that none of this technology is needed. It's all superficial, right? But if we keep on this current trajectory, we are going to get to Wally -E in like 10 years. So yeah, the robots are gonna be cute, but at what cost? He's putting on the capo, never before seen. All this technology is so obscene. Why does a toaster need a touch screen? That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. At Badan Law on Instagram and Twitter. Reject touch screens. Embrace magnets. I'll catch you later.